Here's the ultimate DeFi roadmap for this year to become a blockchain developer and learn all the essential things that you need to know in order to start making money on Ethereum and blockchains. So in this guide, I will simply review this guide and explain to you the things that you need to learn to become a blockchain developer and how to get there as soon as possible. This is a guide I found on Reddit. It's a very useful guide and you can see it has a lot of things going on so it may be confusing for new people but so first step the basics you need to know javascript you need to know javascript python and web2 by web2 they mean http css you know the basic website type of coding python is not needed you can do everything with javascript i do everything with javascript i don't use python at all you may use it for the back end for a few things but node.js does the same things and it does it very well http i don't know what's that but git you need to know github this is essential you need to know github then you need to learn about smart contracts you need to know what is a smart contract the basics the high level languages such as solidity and all the others there are many others but solidity is the only one that will need the life cycle of a smart contract like how it works in terms of when it is executed what happens inside a transaction how is that data stored in a blockchain because unlike a regular transaction a regular server type of functionality where it is constantly running a smart contract is only executed during this short period of a transaction it doesn't continue executing outside of a transaction compiling testing and deploying smart contracts that's super essential you you know the first thing you need to do is to create a smart contract and deploy it because once you deploy that smart contract you learn the entire step from creating to deploying and using the code that you've created this is very important to do it fast this you should learn everything about a month a week if you're experienced but the month is ideal then the blockchain how blockchains work the, the bitcoin white paper i don't think that's necessary to be honest you, you can read it it's you know it's there but it's not necessary if you want to become a blockchain developer then you have distributed ledger technologies elliptic curve cryptography and these are just nice to haves but they're not really necessary then when it comes to ethereum you need to know about the token the erc20 protocol nft protocol and the other which is i believe this is multiple nfts protocol these are these are the the main standards you need to know these things very well because you will use them many many times especially the erc20 the ethereum virtual machine how it works this is important the mainnet and testnet networks right now there is goerli and sepolia i think it's called and they're constantly creating new ones and removing old ones for some reason but you need to know how to use them it's important how to interact with it with the blockchain using your wallet the different clients such as geth reth edigon there are many different applications but geth is the main one and interacting with a deployment smart contract this is super important you need to learn how to interact with a smart contract either using remix either scan or your own code ethereum and the wallets addresses gas private keys and public keys how this works this is just you can learn all of this in one or two days overall the basics should take you a month or less if you're consistent and, and committed to this if you know programming if you don't know programming this can take you a year because javascript is not that easy nowadays the second step is learning about the backend the build tools and the frameworks the backend including the evm the json rpc the deploy contracts abi this is just technicalities you will need this when you deploy contracts but uh, it's not something that you learn on its own you learn it when you need it the build tools the ides remix ide and these other ones i've never used you just need remix as you know how to use remix you can deploy contracts you can write contracts and, and compile them the build tools solidity viper serpent i know viper viper but the serpent i've never used it and i don't know anybody that uses it so just solidity you become good at solidity that's what that should be your entire focus once you are able to write complex smart contracts with the security in mind you can do very interesting things 
npm yarn pmp now these are you know package managers i use yarn for everything frameworks zeppelin plugins now zeppelin has created many contracts the standard in smart contracts and you need to know the contracts that are available for you so once you're familiar with them you can use that rare i don't know what's that i don't know what's why is this here whatever Truffle, Solidity Ganache, Mocha Drizzle. Well, that's Truffle is a bit outdated. You don't want to learn that. Hard Hat is great, but right now there is another one Foundry. That's what I'm talking about. Foundry. This is the latest one and the most effective one for developing applications. Better than Truffle and probably Hard Hat, but Hard Hat is still good. Infura, of course, you need to be able to deploy your contracts using an RPC a string to connect to the blockchain that's what Infura does for you all right once you have that controlled once you are able to interact with the contracts and deploy them you can continue working on the next step which is the front end drizzle i've never used that maybe useful or not but the most important one is react or vue.js you choose one which one but react is the main one you want to deploy your contracts and create your applications in react uh, although I nowadays I'm, I'm mostly using vanilla JavaScript, no front end frameworks. It doesn't, it's not necessary unless you do want to use it. By the way, I forgot this step is to be the storage. You need to be familiar with IPFS, CS storage one, basically IPFS and storage because these two ones are very good for storing files in a decentralized way. Security, transaction analysis, and audits overview, known attacks, checklists, and for instance, well, this is a very important step. You need to be aware of the possible attacks that are in a smart contract so you can protect from them. Most importantly, the reentrancy attack because it happens all the time. How to create audits, how to read transactions and to analyze them, that is super important. I don't have a checklist for testing, but it's it's great to have forensics, I don't know about that, but yeah, it's nice to have. Fourth step, DeFi. Ethereum 2.0, 1559. Well, these are already deployed. This image is a bit outdated, but these are already in place. You need to know the difference between Ethereum proof of work and Ethereum proof of stake. But it's just a lecture, you, you read about it in a day or so, and you watch a few videos and you know about it. The chain, okay, the different protocols, including DEXs such as Uniswap or SushiSwap and others, MEV, this is super important. I make many videos about it if you want to learn about it. Sidechains, okay, Binance, Polygon, Solana, L2 Solutions, State Channels, Plasma, Rollups, and CK rollups. Basically, this is a more advanced step where you learn about the DeFi ecosystem. This is very important. You need to spend a lot of time learning about how these DeFi protocols work, especially Uniswap, lending protocols, then MEV, which is something that you can do to an, an, an income. Basically, you create MEV bots that make money from for you using flash bots and other tools. And L1 and L2 solutions, basically Arbitrum and Optimism, these are the main ones. There's also Base Chain, which is the one controlled by Coinbase. So just read about them, understand how they work and become familiar with them. And the last step, well, yeah, the last step is research the best practices, okay? And Ethereum name service. Yeah, these are the main steps basically to become a blockchain DeFi developer in this year. But I would include building your own reputation because you need to build some kind of track record of what you've built, what you've created to show people that you know what you're doing and help others, basically help the community give back to others. This is super important. Not many people talk about it, but it's super important to give back and to teach others or at least help them in protocols either by doing open source work or by contributing to 
protocols. You can also do hackathons. I have, I've never done one, but they're a very good way to promote your product and build something fast. So that's a very good thing. And I forgot to mention this DeFi section, which is lending stable confirming NFTs. Yeah, this is a very important section. You need to learn about all of these DeFi implementations. And once you're familiar with that, you can build your own. You can build your own stablecoin, your own lending platform. By the way, I'm making a tutorial on that. And farming protocols, yield farming protocols. This is a good one. And NFTs. All right, so these are the steps, the basics, the general section. Keep on, basically, it's security and front end. DeFi, this is the most important section where you can spend many months, many, many months developing and becoming a professional, which requires you to build a resume of projects showing off what you've created, what you know. You need to know, you need to show people that you're capable of creating great products in crypto. And once you are able to do that, you can work for someone or create your own protocol, which is what I recommend. And that's how you become a professional and become a blockchain developer. Hope this has been helpful and let me know in the comments if you want to learn more about Ethereum and creating applications.